Russia is staking its claim in a new space race to the moon and Mars. A Russian probe is expected to land on the moon's south pole any day now in an area that could be critical for the future of exploration beyond the moon. Tom Costello has the details. Now orbiting the moon, Luna 25 is Russia's first robotic lunar mission in nearly 50 years. Russia never landed cosmonauts on the moon, but within days, Luna will be the first probe to land on the moon's south side, working to confirm the presence of frozen water, which could one day be used for rocket fuel. The head of Russia's space agency says the moon could be the launching pad to explore distant planets, including Mars. Russia has just launched a probe to land on the uh, South Pole. NASA chief Bill Nelson says that ice is why the U.S. plans to land Artemis astronauts in 2025. But China is also aiming for the pole. I don't want uh, China to get to the South Pole first with humans and then say, this is ours, stay out. Is this starting to feel real? That's real, that's it. It's, it's starting to feel very, very real. At the Kennedy Space Center, the Artemis II astronauts, the first crew who will orbit the moon since Apollo, have now inspected the Orion spaceship that will take them there next year. We're all smiles, of course. It's pretty, it's pretty inspiring moment. NASA's goal, similar to what Russia and China are planning. Ultimately, NASA wants to create an Artemis base camp on the moon and use that to go to Mars. Tom, I think the space race is really between us and China, and we need to protect the interest of the international community. Nelson insists the U.S. would never lock out others, but the new space race is accelerating. Tom Costello, NBC News at the Kennedy Space Center.